Since the beginning of the pandemic, a large number of Americans have spoken out against efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. They question whether the restrictions work, despite scientific evidence that shows wearing masks and social distancing do work. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu talked with a psychologist today on why some people simply refuse to believe. The interesting phenomenon here is that everybody's trying to accomplish the same goal, which is reducing a sense of uncertainty, reducing fear and anxiety. They're just doing that in two different kinds of ways. To wear a mask or not, to many that is the question. Psychologist Nicole Birkin says the decision to push against COVID-19 restrictions like face coverings and social distancing could stem from a variety of factors. I've had many adults say to me, you know, I'm not necessarily comfortable getting together and doing this, but I know it's really going to upset my mother. She lists the American family culture as a reason many may still be traveling over the holidays. We tend to not spend a lot of time around uh, extended family. Lots of people have their families spread throughout the country or in different areas. And so these holidays can be a time when we say, well, now we're going to come together. And says many could be hitting a wall with continuous restrictions, but adds much of the decision to ignore safety mandates could stem from a greater sense of wanting control. Some people are saying the way that I can control is to wear a mask all the time, to not leave my house. Then we have the group on the polar opposite end who the way that they are seeking to have control is to say none of this matters. Saying it's easy for humans to have an optimism bias. Which really is a way of thinking that nothing bad's going to happen to me. It leads us to not necessarily follow the restrictions to think, well, I'll be okay. When asked if there is a cultural psychology to Americans pushing against health orders, Birkin says the institution of freedom could be a historic stronghold. Where is the balance between personal freedom and rights and, and valuing those, but also collectively making sure that we're taking care of each other. And with the tension of confirmation biases building up on areas like social media, Birkin says the ability to reach a middle ground is becoming harder. In Grand Rapids, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.